Hello, eighth graders. Uh, this video is just to show you how to set up the note cards for this project in case you're absent when I show it in class. You're all familiar with Noodle Tools. Here we are. You're going to go up here in this corner where it says New Project, upper right hand corner, and you're going to click New Project. Okay? And you are going to name it Rayo Final Research Paper. Okay? Please make sure you click MLA or all of your citations will be wrong. Hugely important. Then our citation level, we're going to go with junior. Okay? Starter is elementary, advanced is college, junior is 7 to 12. We click submit. Okay? It's saying my project title already resists because I did that last year, so I'm going to call it 2324. Okay? Submit. All right. So here's my project. Okay. Once I open the project, I don't have anything yet because we haven't done anything yet. So you're going to get started today, but the first thing we're going to do is create our note cards. So since we know what all the research areas are, we're going to create a new note card and we're going to call this Jewish Unarmed Resistance. Okay. Now just hit save and there's your card. Now we're going to create another card. And we're going to call it Jewish Armed Resistance. This is what we're going to work on in class the first day, research day one. Save and close. Here we go. Now, I like to color code the cards to keep them organized. So let's start out with this blue color. Okay. Now, we also know that according to the layout that I gave you on the website and touch in class, we're going to also research one of the other groups. So you're going to write your group. I'm going to put a slash because it could be either slavery or let's call them enslaved people. Or Native American unarmed resistance. Okay, you're going to pick one of these two, not both. All right, and let's put that over here. Okay. And then we're going to do another card, okay? So it's going to be either enslaved people or Native American armed resistance. Okay, we're going to hit save and close. And we can give this a different color, okay? It's nice to help us stay organized red color. Okay. Now the next section is control. Okay. So for control, you're going to have, you could say Nazi control of the Jews, but Jewish physical control, right? This is how Jewish people were physically controlled by the Nazis. Okay. So we're going to hit save. And we're going to research how Jewish victims were physically controlled by the Nazis. That's another section. You might want to drag it down here a little. Then we're going to create another note card. And we're going to say Jewish psychological. Okay. This is how Jewish people were, it should be PSY, right? Psychologically controlled by the Nazis. Okay. They were different forms of control. All right. And then we can change our note card for that. Let's make it a green color. Okay. And this lumps them together. Okay. Um, you could even do the blocks in the same color if you wanted to. It's whatever you decide is best. Right. Maybe you want all your resistance to be one color and then your control to be a different color. But now we're going to create another note card and it's going to be either enslaved people or Native American physical control. Okay. Save and closed. And then we're going to have psychological control for the group that you chose. Save and close. New note card. Enslaved people or Native American.
physical control, save and close. Right. Oh, so I already did that one. So this one's psychological. P S Y C H. Okay. Save it, and there's that, okay? And maybe you want these all to be green. Here's green, here is, this one is green. So now we have our resistance, this part is control, all right? The next one is legality. Now, you probably want multiple examples, okay? At least two, possibly three. Legality one, or two. Um, let's see, um, Holocaust legality one, okay, what laws made the Holocaust legal, okay, maybe we put that up here, and then let's do Holocaust legality two, right, you're going to end up doing multiple examples of Nuremberg laws, okay, and then you're going to do either enslaved people, or slavery, legality of slavery, we could call it. Slavery, legality, whatever you call these doesn't matter. Um, just so you know which is which helps you stay organized. So the laws that made slavery legal, which you're gonna look up in the constitution, okay? Or, or it could be Native Americans. Um, so slavery or Native American removal, legality too, right? Save and close. Now, as you remember, if I want to go back and edit something, I just click this, I click the dots, and I can rename the card, right? Um, there we go. And now the last one is control, okay? So we have Nazi control over, excuse me, human impact. So Jewish human impact. One, you know, what was the ultimate effect on the Jewish culture as a result of the Holocaust, formation of the state of Israel, etc.? Jewish human impact one. Jewish human impact two. Right. I like to spell things right in my sample. Okay. Impact two. And we're going to drag it down and we can organize these by color as well. So maybe I want this to be orange. And it helps us stay organized by research area. Okay. It's good for our eye to see things laid out like this. Um, and then we're going to have either, you know, African Americans, enslaved peoples, or, but you know, once they are freed as slaves, there are still other challenges, right? So let's call them African-American human impact on their culture or Native American culture, human impact. Hmm. Again, you're probably going to want at least two cards. You may end up finding that you can do more than this, okay? This is sort of the minimum. So we are going to copy, there we go, create another card, two, save and close. Okay, and there's our card setup. Let me change our last colors just to stay organized. And from day one, you will know what to research, okay? And when you open the cards, you're gonna put your quote here, right? This is your CD. This is your CM, your commentary, we explain it, this shows, okay? And down here is your CS, which is your, as a result, or because of this. Um, 
And this is also going to serve to help you pre-write your paragraphs. When you're ready to put it in the text, you'll pull in your source, which you're going to enter first, and your citations. And that is what we're going to do setting it up for the first day. And if you have any questions, please come in at lunch, see me in class. We're going to be working together for the next few weeks on this, and you're going to do a great job. All right? Excellent.